Hey gamers, imagine playing God of War, GTA, San Andreas, or Final Fantasy X anywhere, anytime, all from your phone. Sounds epic, right? But with so many PS2 emulators out there, picking the right one can be a total nightmare. Don't worry, I've done the hard work for you. In this video, we're counting down the top seven PS2 emulators for Android in 2025. And trust me, the seventh emulator is a total game changer. Let's go. PCSX2 is finally on Android, and this time it's official, not a fork or a fake. Ported by Poton 2024, it brings true PS2 emulation with Vulkan, OpenGL, and software rendering. No BIOS needed, just load your ISO and play. Early tests show classics like Dragon Ball Z, Resident Evil 4, and Tekken 5 running at 25 to 60 FPS, depending on your device. It's still in early development with no gamepad support yet, ISO only, and not fully optimized. Latest builds are already on GitHub, so if you want real PCSX2 power on mobile, my PS2 is quickly becoming a fan favorite thanks to its ad-free experience and no BIOS requirement. With an impressive rating on the Play Store, it's one of the most user-friendly PS2 emulators available. It offers excellent compatibility, resolution options, and controller customization. Smooth, simple, and powerful. My PS2 shows how far mobile emulation has come. Good news it, My PS2 is available on Google Play Store. PPSS22 is a newer emulator built for mid-range phones. It's super beginner-friendly with no BIOS files needed and setup is a breeze. It supports ISO games and runs classics like Resident Evil 4 or Crash Bandicoot surprisingly well. The only downside is the ads, but considering it's lightweight, reliable, and free on the Play Store, it's worth it if you don't mind the interruptions. The legendary Ether SX2 still holds the crown. It was one of the most downloaded emulators on the Google Play Store and can run nearly all PS2 titles with impressive performance. Though sadly discontinued by its original developer, it remains one of the most trusted and polished PS2 emulators out there. With 4K support, customizable controls, save states, and excellent compatibility, it's a dream come true for PS2 fans. Perfect for mid- to high-end Android devices, and yes, it's completely free. You can still download it safely from the official GitHub, and trust me, it's totally worth it. Play is one of the most beginner-friendly PS2 emulators. No BIOS required, easy to use, and works across a wide range of devices from low-end phones to high-end flagships. While it struggles with demanding games, it runs simpler ones like Katamari Damacy or Shadow of the Colossus really well. Best of all, it's free and available on both the Google Play Store and App Store. Perfect for iPhone users too. Simple, hassle-free, and improving with time. Not everyone has a flagship phone and that's where Nether SX2 shines. Inspired by Ether SX2, it's optimized for budget and non-Snapdragon devices, making PS2 emulation accessible to more players. Games like Need for Speed and Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 run at solid FPS. You will need a BIOS to get it running. And while it's not available on the Play Store, frequent updates are released on the official GitHub. Definitely current best and worth a try if you're gaming on a budget. Built on Ether SX2, iGames PS2 is a true hidden gem. The best part is no BIOS, no complicated setup, and even a built-in game library. Just install and play. It works smoothly on both budget and flagship phones, supports ISO games, and pairs perfectly with Bluetooth controllers. With its plug-and-play simplicity, iGames PS2 is perfect for gamers who want PS2 nostalgia without the hassle. And yes, it's right on the Google Play Store, no searching required. At last, meet ARMSX2, an upcoming port of PCSX2 built for ARM devices. Early tests show it's already rivaling Nether's X2 in performance. It's based on the legendary PCSX2 emulator, reworked for Android and iOS. Great for gamers on mid- to high-end phones wanting smooth PS2 gameplay. Once released, it could redefine PS2 emulation on mobile forever. So, which emulator are you trying first? Drop your pick in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more epic gaming content. Let's keep those PS2 memories alive one game at a time. Game on, gamers!